Today on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas, we're gonna make my delicious Italian meatball casserole. So stay tuned. Welcome back friends, my name is Doug and this is Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas and I'm so glad you're here. If you are not a subscriber, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and like this video. That's if you like it, right? <laughs> anyway, let's talk about what supplies or materials or ingredients we're going to need for this dish to make this yummy, delicious, mm, 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 so good Italian meatball casserole. First of all, you're going to need one pound of uh, ground beef. This is 93% lean and 7% fat. That's usually the one I buy. This is for the meatballs. Now, if you watched my last video, I show you exactly how to make the meatballs, but guess what? I'm gonna show you again how to make the meatballs on this video so you don't have to scroll back and forth. Um, so one pound of ground beef. You are going to need half of a yellow onion. You're going to need one egg. You're also going to need, this is my favorite cheese, Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Yum, 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 I get this at Target. Um, you're also going to need a box. We're probably gonna use a half to three fourths of a box of the, um, the pasta. This is the Barilla Penne pasta. My last video, I used yellow lentil pasta. It was gluten-free. You can use that too. I just wanna make it with this one today. So this is just a regular, uh, pasta and then we have um, you can make your own tomato sauce sauce for this I usually do but you know what today I'm a little tired <laughs> and I, I just worked out and so I thought to myself let me just uh, use ragu I'm just gonna use ragu chunky tomato garlic and onion sauce this one uh, you could also use the meat sauce that's a really good one and we're also gonna use a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes this is organic all right Onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, of course. Plus, you need Progresso Italian breadcrumbs. And um, that's it. So let's start making it. Oh, I almost forgot the cheeses. How could we forget? So besides the Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, you're also going to need uh, a mixed bag of Italian-style cheese. That's this one. I just get the Good and Gather brand. And you're also gonna need some mozzarella or mozzarella cheese. You can use fresh mozzarella, which I highly suggest. But once again, I didn't have in the house, so I'm just using the bag mozzarella cheese. It'll be fine, it'll taste great. Let's start making it. Okay, so the very first thing I'm doing is I'm heating up my water for my pasta, and I'm just following the directions on the box. Uh, we're gonna let the water boil, of course, and then we're gonna add our pasta, cook it for around 11 minutes, or al dente, and um, and that's it. We're gonna add a little salt to it, of course, to just to flavor it up some. All right, now remember we're using about a half a box to three fourths of a box. You can use the whole box, but I don't want it to be more pasta than the meatballs. I want the meatballs to be the star of the show. So the pasta is just gonna add it, just a little bit of yumminess to it, but um, we're gonna focus a lot on those meatballs. So pasta, we're gonna heat up, heating up that water. Uh, you'll need a bowl, of course, and. A baking dish. This is a um, you know one of those baking dishes, Pyrex baking dishes. Um, of course, we're going to heat our oven to 350, preheated, and this is going to bake actually for 30 minutes. All right, so let's start making our meatballs. All right, so the first thing, we get our meat. Always make sure your hands are clean, by the way. 
and if you have watched my videos before and seen me make my meatballs before, then you are uh, experts and uh, you can fast forward it. But um, basically I get my ground beef. I'm gonna add one egg to it. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I use approximately a teaspoon of salt and I've got a teaspoon of pepper. You could always add a little bit more to it if you'd like. I don't like a lot of salt really. Onion powder. I'm going to sprinkle the top. Italian seasoning, just sprinkle the top. And then the garlic powder, just sprinkle the top. And our onions, we're gonna dice our onions. Now with our onions, we're gonna be using half of the yellow onion. My dogs are playing, you're probably gonna hear all this noise. But if I lock them up and put them in a different room, they will start barking. So hopefully that doesn't bug you guys. Simon, be good. And of course, Simon now wants to go outside for a walk. He didn't want to go before with Louie and Winston, but now he wants to go. <laughs> so I'm coming, Simon, hold on. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so I'm gonna dice up my onions. I guess we're using about a half of a yellow onion. This is a pretty good size yellow onion too. So. What I usually like to do for cleanup, by the way, is I keep that little meat container and I just like to throw everything in that little meat container in the meantime, so it's out of my way. All right, so you get your onion. And we're just gonna dice that up small. Remember when you always, um, Cut up an onion, always try to put your fingers a little bit inward so you you don't cut yourself. And then I usually like just cutting it, chopping it up like this. Okay, so just real small. Okay, so we have our onions. Now we're going to add it to our meat. Now you might say that seems like a lot of onions. Well, Yvonne loves a lot of onions, but if you do half, a little less than half of a whole big onion, it should be great. All right, now we're gonna need our Italian breadcrumbs also. Uh, this is probably about close to half a cup. And notice that I'm using my hands. And once again, with your hands, it's to get that feel for it. Um, really just comes with practice, but you know if you need to add a little bit more breadcrumbs. See, can you hear them? <laughs> it's like having children. I... Boys, hey, be good. I'm doing a video. The people out there don't wanna hear you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so I can feel, I think I need to add just a little bit more. Mm, yeah, so yeah, I can always tell. Just that little bit more makes a difference. All right, so we have our onion powder, we have our garlic powder, we have our Italian seasonings, seasoning, salt and pepper, we have our one egg and then our uh, finely chopped yellow onion, and we're also going to add a little bit of uh, Parmesan, uh, Parmesan and mozzarella cheese. Okay, so I have approximately two tablespoons of um, mozzarella cheese, and now I'm using the Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm grating that. I'm gonna probably be doing about a fourth of a cup of the Parmesan Reggiano cheese. I just love, love, love this cheese. This is my favorite cheese for my Italian meals. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna add my cheese there. Give that a mix with the cheese in there. And something I did not do last time, I'm gonna add just a little bit 
of milk, maybe one tablespoon, two tablespoons of milk. Um, something my mom used to do, she used to add a little milk to her meatballs. It's probably about a, teaspoon, a tablespoon. And we're just going to mix all that with our hands. And we're gonna make these meatballs very small, just like we did with our uh, last pasta dish that I posted. It's gonna be about the same size, about the size of a golf ball, maybe a little bit smaller, in fact. All right, because this is gonna be a casserole, all right? So we want our meatballs to be a little bit smaller than if I was just making it for, let's say, spaghetti and meatballs or something like that. All right, that's good. Okay, so when we make our meatball, we're gonna take about this much and then just roll it in your hands. Of course, make sure your hands are clean. And it's like a little bit smaller than a golf ball. All right, so I made a whole bunch over here already. Got one more to go. And it looks like our pasta is ready. So we're gonna start cooking our meatballs. Okay, so for our meatballs, I just have a skillet here. I wanna put the flame on a medium flame. We wanna heat that up just a little bit. Add um, extra virgin olive oil. Definitely enough to coat the base, maybe a little bit more, just like that. We're gonna heat up the oil first and we're gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. So just heating that up just a little bit. Add my minced garlic. And once the minced garlic, I like to say, starts dancing, once the minced garlic starts dancing, then we can add the meatballs. So they're starting to dance. Can you see it? All right. Just lower the flame just a little bit. And add our delicious meatballs. Okay, these are tongs. Make sure you have tongs in your kitchen. It's super helpful. What we want to do with our meatballs is we want to make sure we brown it on all sides and then cook it just a little bit more. So these will probably take about 15 minutes to cook. So we're going to just watch them and when we see the bottom is brown, then we're going to flip them over and going to make sure all sides are brown. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, can you see how brown they are? And so we want to start flipping them. Okay, once they're flipped and you see pretty much all sides are brown, then we're going to cover it. We'll lower the flame a little bit. That's on a medium to low flame. And then we're going to cook this for around 15 minutes. Now, while your meatballs are cooking for that 15 minutes, what you can do is you can get your Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. You can continue to grate it. And we're gonna need approximately a cup of this delicious cheese. All right. And you're also going to need, um, I didn't mention it earlier, but organic oregano and also organic Italian parsley. We're just using approximately about a tablespoon of both of them and uh, we're going to be using that for the sauce okay we also want to add a little italian parsley to the side for garnish at the very end all right so i'm going to continue doing my cheese and um and then we're going to take a look at our meatballs okay we're going to check on our meatballs yeah mm, yummy and this has approximately let's see about five more minutes five to seven more minutes to go and what we need to do right now is put on our oven and we're going to preheat our oven to 350. and the meatball should be done in about five minutes and of course while you're waiting you can munch on the parmigiano reggiano cheese mm. so good mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think our meatballs are done. Let's take a look. Yep, they are done. And once again, you can always cut into one, see if there's any paint. If there is, then cook it a little bit longer, but 
these are so small, so it took about 15 minutes for these to be totally cooked. And I'm just putting them in a bowl right here. We are going to be using the drippings. We're going to leave all that. So I'm using here ragu chunky. And I love that the garlic is like that, that it's so dark. So we're gonna leave that because that just adds a yummy flavor, believe it or not. And um, so we're using about a half of the chunky. And we're also using that can of, this is fire roasted tomatoes. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this together. We're gonna cook this. We're not going to add any cheese or anything like that to it. Maybe a little salt and pepper, but this already has onions and garlic in it. And plus the garlic that was already in there, so we don't have to add any spices to it. I'm just going to give this a nice mix, let this cook up a little bit, probably for around six, seven minutes or so. And, uh, and then we're going to put it all together. Let me add a little salt. Just a little bit and then a little pepper give that a nice stir and that's our sauce for this yummy delicious italian meatball casserole that's all it is folks easy peasy all right let's cook that up and then we're gonna put it together Okay, so welcome back. All right, so we are going to, our sauce is cooked, our oven is preheated, so we're gonna start. We're gonna add just a layer to this nine by 13 baking dish. And I'm gonna add just a layer of sauce. And then we're gonna mix everything in this pot. This is where the pasta is. So we're gonna mix our meatballs, our pasta, our sauce, our cheeses, mix that all in there, dump it in this baking dish, and then we're going to put a topping of cheese on it. All right, so let's start making it. Okay, so I'm gonna spoon just a little layer of the sauce at the bottom. Just wanna make sure it's all covered. Just give it a shake. Okay, looks good. Maybe just a little bit more over here. All right, that looks good. Now, put this aside. Then what we're gonna do is in this pot that has our pasta in it, we're going to add, uh, let's add our sauce. Give it a little stir. And I have just a little bit of the pasta water at the bottom too, it's just a little bit. And then we're gonna add our meatballs. Give that a toss. Then we're gonna start adding our cheeses. Now, this is uh, two cups of mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna use approximately just a cup because I wanna use some for the top. So I'm using about a cup to mix in here with everything. So this is my Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. I'm using about a, a cup. Uh, so I'm gonna use half of it. So about half a cup of the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, because I want some for the top to go along with the mozzarella. And then this is the Italian style uh, cheese that comes in a bag. It's um, provolone, white cheddar, Asiago, and Romano cheeses. And I'm using, this is two cups in here, so I'm using a cup. That's half two. All right, give that a nice mix. So we're mixing all that pasta, the cheeses. Yum. Okay. It's gonna be very cheesy. All right. Now we have our baking dish with the layer of sauce at the bottom. And all we do is just dump all this into here, very easy. Get my spoon, get out every bit of that yummy sauce. And then flatten it down. And 
And now we're going to add the rest of the cheese. So I'm going to do the mozzarella cheese first. Italian mix and this is all going to melt on top. It's going to be so yummy. And uh, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Mmm. Okay. That's it folks. That's all it is. Now we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. We're baking it at 350 degrees for approximately 350 we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees and bake it for approximately 30, 35 minutes. All right. Now let's add it to the oven. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at it. No. pasta hanging on the <laughs> but look at that oh yummy okay so now what we're gonna do is with that little oregano and that little uh, Italian parsley we're just gonna sprinkle the top like this with that and we're going to leave it uncovered for about five more minutes in the oven all right and then we're gonna have a taste test stay tuned well, here it is. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Mm. All right, so now we want to just let it sit for just a couple of minutes and then we're going to plate it and uh, sprinkle just a little bit of more of that Italian parsley on top and then give it a good taste test. So stay tuned. into it, yum. Mm. Mm. Okay. Sprinkle a little more parsley on top. Wipe the side. And there you go. Look at that delicious, yummy dish. Okay, let's give it a good taste. Meatballs are perfect. Mm. This is this is so delicious, guys. You have to try this recipe. So one thing about Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas, I hope you guys get out of our show, is that these are all pretty easy recipes to do. Many of them come from my mom. Um, that I remember her making when I was a kid. Some of them are mine that I created, like this one. This is my very own recipe. Um, and some I find here and there and kind of turn it around and try to make it my own. But um, I hope, hopefully you guys really love the recipes and you try some of these out. And like I said before, if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us today. And until next time, my friends, happy, healthy living. Bye-bye.